I was born in a factory, shipped across the world, and played in an intense game of ping pong. Feeling the rush of the game, I soared through the air, only to end up in the hands of a young fan. As my journey concluded, I returned to the factory, recycled and buried in a landfill. Reflecting on my adventures, I realized the beauty of my brief but impactful life. Welcome back everybody. Today I want to introduce something from Lightrix. So that'll be ltx.studio. You can see the address up here. Lightrix Story Sort it's Lightrix LTX Studio. So what this is is a fully automated storyboard with AI generated video, AI generated speech. Okay. And the ability to uh, direct your scenes. And I'm going to dive into it. You've already seen the video which I made. I always use the same life of a ping pong ball as a demo for this sort of, uh, for evaluating this sort of kit. And uh, it did a really good job, I thought, uh, <laughs> considering what it is. I think it did a great job. And obviously, if you put a bit more thought into it, I just literally gave it one single prompt, which was the life of a ping pong ball. And it did the rest. So let's just dive into my project. So, as you can see, we get this cool UI, you get a storyboard, you get a shot editor. I didn't use the shot editor in the end, I just wanted to make a general sort of, this is what you get when you put zero effort in. All I did was give it the prompt, Journey of the Ping Pong Ball, and gave it a few other cues in my initial prompt. Uh, and then it has generated all of this, okay? And then I've told it to generate all of this and put it into a video. So essentially, it's used an LLM to break up my prompt, make scenes, direct sub shots for each scene. And as you can see, you've got options, wide shot, close up, medium shot, medium shot. You can put sound effects in. There's a voiceover, which is using TTS, AI TTS. Um, and obviously, we can have our locations and characters. If we go into the cast... It shows us that we have the ping pong ball, a competitive tennis player, and a young fan. I don't know why it's taking a while to load, but that would be photos of the characters in this. Um, you can see it, see them there. There's the two. There's the ping pong ball. There's the tennis player, I think. I don't know. It's a bit confusing because I just wanted to get a general feel for how it works. Obviously, if you see here, you can... You can manually uh, edit the frame, you can erase it, you can reorder them, I think. You can uh, put in new ones manually, and then you can, can you can micromanage every little thing right down to the last, you know. You can generate the soundtrack, you can control the voiceover, okay. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of options. Um, if we go to the project settings, we can set the style, cinematic. We can have a style reference now, which is pretty cool. That wasn't there when I first set it up. Uh, but this is just bare, so I've literally said, generate me a uh, video about the life of a ping pong ball from when it gets made, when it gets played, and then when it eventually goes back to being buried in the ground. And then it's done like a weird sort of highlight reel of its life. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. Um, there's not really much more to say, because this is obviously a great big uh, storyboarding suite, which uses AI generation. Um, right now, they have a waiting list. And if I click upgrade, does it tell me what the pricing is yet? Not yet. Not yet. Custom plan. So, oh, wait, no, here we go. So there's your pricing information. Okay. I, I, I haven't had time to evaluate whether this is good value or not, but that's a moving picture. So I always like to try and offer a web service because some people don't have big GPU and we do a lot of stuff involving workflows that have like the latest stuff and that is often need big gpu so if you're one of those guys that likes to sort of you know dance from subscription to subscription every month and follow the technology which is probably not it's probably wise actually um this might be something that works for you so uh no doubt they'll improve the service so as with everything this is the worst it's ever going to be um and knowing that this is really complicated. I love how they've broken it up. You can, there's all these different options. Um, there's a lot here, which you can mess around with and very, very quickly, not just make one AI video, but make a complex story driven AI video. Now, 
as you saw in the video, there were a lot of mistakes in it, but I think it helps to convey what's trying to be told, you know, the story that's trying to be told. So there it is. Very short video today, guys, but we've got some more stuff coming up. So I like to get these introducing videos out there when I can. So there it is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.